Harmony MC and uh, Firefly in the same team, she's actually going to do two instances of Super Break. Subscribe, please! So, I was literally talking with a friend. <laughs> And um, she she was telling me about how a friend of hers told you that Boot Hill was good. And so she got baited and pulled for Boot Hill. And so she was really mad because she didn't... So I guess now she, she used a lot of her pulls for, um, for him instead of saving for Firefly. So uh, I kind of wanted to, to talk a little bit about like the upcoming banners, right? Um, and, and maybe just give my opinion on the values of the, the upcoming banners and what you should potentially pull for, for you, for your account, uh, and what need for you. So what I know, essentially, we have Firefly and Ruin May first, and then we have um, Jade and Argenti. So the first thing I want to say is that, first of all, Firefly is going to be very, very good. She's going to be a new character. Uh, she's a destruction fire unit, um, and she works around break effect. Break effect is a special. Um, it, it's it's a very. It's a gimmick or it's a type of team that has been very very good recently, with the additions of you know Gallagher, Harmony MC, uh, Ruin May has been here for a while, and it is. Very powerful lately. There's going to be a special set specific for her that will buff her break effect effectiveness. And she specifically works with super break. She has some super break included in her kit. And super break is kind of a thing where once the enemy is broken, you do damage that scales of your break effect on your enemy on top of your normal damage. And that scales like crazy. This is why the Harmony MC does a shit crap ton of damage, right? I don't know why I said shit crap, but it is what it is. Um, and so, if you have Harmony MC and uh, Firefly in the same team, she's actually going to do two instances of Super Break. So now, the problem with her, Firefly, that is, is that she is going to be, at the moment, incredibly restrictive. Because she needs Harmony MC... She most likely needs Ruin May. I think she needs Ruin May. There's no question about it. And then Gallagher is going to be her best sustain option because of the Bezotet state that he inflicts with his ultimate, which means that you deal more uh, break damage, essentially, right? So the problem is that outside of this team, she's actually not that good right now because she's not a crit carry. And so, when the enemies are not broken, she actually does not do that much damage, right? So, you want to make sure that you can actually have a team that makes her function, otherwise she's going to be underwhelming. So, pull for Firefly, if you have Ruin May. Obviously, Harmony MC is free, and uh, Gallagher, is, he's been free a few times. He's going to be on her banner, I believe. Um... So you should be able to get him pretty easily. But if you don't have Ruin May, I think you might be disappointed. And that's the difference between her and potentially Boot Hill, is that Boot Hill function without Ruin May, uh, but she won't. So, uh, keep that in mind. Now, if you have all of that, she's gonna be actually insane. She has a crap ton of damage. It's, it's actually, I think she might be on par with a character like Acheron. Um, so she's going to be some of the best out there. And hopefully in the future we're going to get more break support. And she will pop off even more. Uh, or she will have more versatility when it comes to team compositions, right? Next, the other characters I want to talk about is the one that's rerunning on, on the same phase. And that's going to be Ruin May. And I think Ruin May, regardless of your account, she is always going to have insane value. She has massive buffs, she, she buffs just your team damage, your break effects, efficiency, which means you deal more damage to the enemy toughness bar. She buffs your speed for free, it's just like, it's, she's just broken. She's currently, in my opinion, the best support in the game, the best buffer in the game. 
Um, and if you don't have her, you want her. You need her. She's just that good. So I think if Firefly is a 10 out of 10, must pick character, Ruan Mei is actually a 12 out of 10, must pull character. If you don't have Ruan Mei, I think it's more worth it to pull for Ruan Mei than to pull for Firefly. You can always get Firefly on a rerun in the future because she's a new character. She's got a rerun in a few patch. And uh, yeah, but if you pull for Firefly and you don't have Ruan Mei, you'll feel a bit bad about it. So there it is. I don't think I have to say that much about her. You can look up some guides online. Uh, but there it is. Now, uh, we come to phase two. And phase two, we have two units. We obviously have Jade and we have um, Argenti. So I'm going to talk about Argenti real quick. The problem with Argenti is that um, he just has no fucking value in the game uh, right now. He's okay. He's pretty... No, actually, he's very good in pure fiction, but that's pretty much it. The problem is that there's too many DPS that just outclasses him. And he, even when he came out, he was not even on top. He was just all right. And since then, there's been so many DPS that just outclass him that there is literally no reason to pull for a character that is already power crept. So unless you really love him, and that, that stands for every character. If you really love a character, pull for them. Don't pull for meta, pull for what you like um, in those circumstances, right? But he literally has no value at the moment, so I would not pull for him. That's it. Um, yeah, that's that's it. it. It's just that class period. And also, they did announce Yunli, who's going to be a physical uh, destruction unit. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, she's going to be a new character. She's probably going to power creep him, even at what he currently does. So I would just not pull for him. Now, to go on Mummy Jade, as people call her, um, she kind of has, in my opinion, she has a little bit of the problem that Topaz had when she came out, is that currently it feels like she doesn't exactly have a perfect place in the meta. She's kind of a buff follow-up attack character, um, but on the erudition side, and I feel like she probably doesn't have that many teams in which she will really, really shine. Um, and that was what happened with Topaz. When Topaz came out, she was very underwhelming because we didn't really have that gimmick of having follow-up teams. Um, so I think she has the potential to be all right at the moment. I think she can probably do some good things with, like, her speed buff. Uh, she does some drain HP, so maybe she can work with, like, um, Blade. Oh, is his name Blade? Yeah, Blade and other characters like that. Um, I kind of want to put her with Himeko and do some mummy full up shenanigans. Um, but if I had to choose, I think that right now she doesn't have the most insane amount of value. And because the first phase is already absolutely stacked with Firefly, Ruin Mei, one of the best light cone in the game, uh, that is Ruin Mei's light cone, um, I think you most likely might come up short when it comes to her, as in you won't have the resources needed to pull for her. And you might want to potentially save for the next patch, uh, and potentially, like, we know some insane characters are going to come out in the future. They've teased a lot of them, um, like Fei Shao and stuff like that. So you might want to save. Uh, that said, she looks absolutely amazing, and just for that, I might consider pulling for her if I have the, <laughs> the resources, but yeah. So, right now, I would say, if you have Run May, the best value for next patch is going to be Firefly. If you don't have Run May, the best value is going to be Run May. So, that would, be, um, that would be what I suggest you go for. Um, there you go. So, tell me what you think. Tell me who you're going to be pulling for. Uh, say that in the comments and uh, like, subscribe, all that good, good. You can catch me on twitch.tv slash kittycathy and on discord.gg slash kittycathy if you want to join the community. It will be, it will be a pleasure to have you. Bye!